Welcome to Frame 316 Media. This channel is all about helping you grow your business with video. And how do you do that? By learning and understanding how to create video content and mastering the techniques that you need to distribute this to your target audience. My name is Robert and my passion is to help you reach this stage in your business whether you are a small business owner or a freelancer. So if you are new to this channel, please smash the subscribe button, hit like, and I want to hear from you from the comment below. Today I'm going to talk about the newer NW700. It's an entry-level condenser microphone and compare it to the condenser microphone that I'm using right now. So both these microphones, you can actually uh, purchase it off of Amazon under $300. But we're going to do a test drive and you know make you decide which microphone you think is better for uh, your uh, application, whether you're vlogging, whether you're a singer, whether you're a podcaster, or whether you're a musician. So let's check product out of the box first okay let us check out what we have here I got this off of Amazon and it got delivered the other day I think two days ago so you know when you get that you know the feeling that you get every time you open up a box uh, you buy online it's like you know giving yourself a gift so this doesn't look very promising though so I have like tons of plastic here I know Amazon loves to do this Let's throw this away <laughs> and this is the box of my product see So this is the newer condenser microphone kit. Let's open this up. Some backstory, I actually I already have a condenser microphone. I was trying to find um, a boom arm that I can use on my table because I don't have it right now. And there's tons of stuff that I saw on Amazon, but this one comes with the mic. So let's see it. So this is your pop filter here. Uh, they have the foam and this is the I think this is the arm so I'm gonna set this up on my table in a while and some manual of course I won't usually read that <laughs> I would just Go ahead in YouTube and you know find a three minute video setting this up. So this is what the microphone looks like. Okay. And you know according to reviews because this is a condenser microphone it needs a uh, phantom power and this sort of cable I would probably replace it I'm not gonna use it because you cannot actually use this type of cable uh, for a phantom powered mic so I actually don't know what this thing is called I have this on my other microphone which I'm gonna show you in a bit and this is the clamp because this arm for this arm to work you need to clamp it on a table so yeah so this is practically everything let's get rid of the box I'm gonna just try to show you so you can see in the camera what I have inside the box so this is practically you know what you get 
in the box. Okay, so I have the newer N700 setup on my table right now. See this? So, you know, the purpose that I bought this actually is for this, you know, cool arm where I can just uh, move my microphone wherever I want depending on you know uh, my position in in my table whether I'm playing music whether I'm singing whether I'm doing uh, this uh, video episode so as I've shown you uh, this is all the stuff that you get from the box although uh, this time I'm not gonna use my uh, the, the pop filter you know this this black thing here where you know you just clip it here and uh it makes your sound more sh uh, sharp and uh, most musicians would benefit from doing that and um, for now i'm not going to use that this is already considered a professional studio broadcasting uh, microphone i like it better than what i'm using because of the size but you know we're gonna check the the, the volume and and see which sounds are better okay so this is the other microphone that i've been using you probably see me use this in some of my blogs even for my uh other uh, channel my vlog channel but uh as you've noticed i only have this stun and it's very limited in in terms of uh when i need to position it when when i change uh my location wherever i'm filming so this arm here this scissor arm, arm here is going to be really very helpful for me and the thing is if i end if i would end up not liking the sound of this newer microphone i can just easily you know plug this one here because you know it has the the same size to to, to fit this thing uh on this mount here so we're not really gonna talk about this microphone uh i just want to compare the sound because this is not uh, a new microphone uh, this condenser microphone i think i got this three four years ago i don't know if they still have this uh in the market but uh after a quick search on amazon i saw that there, there there's a newer version for this by the way while i'm filming this episode i'm actually using my zoom love mic here so that uh, later on when we do the audio test you would be able to hear the difference between this uh 300 micro 200 microphone and this 60 microphone okay so let's talk about the newer nw700 condenser microphone first okay this is an entry level microphone meaning if you're new to vlogging if you're new to podcasting if you're new to uh, recording songs it's it's and you are like working within a budget this is gaining some uh, popularity online right now if you do a quick google search and see the the reviews of uh, professionals who, who who use this uh, microphone it's a budget friendly option you know not only for vloggers but also for as i've said a while ago for musicians podcasters and uh, singers okay some other stuff that you need to know about the microphone if you are into the you know technical details of these condenser microphones uh, this has an op updated audio circuitry that's able to capture rich and sharp sound okay the sound that comes out from your mouth as you blubber and as you talk you know depending what you want to do with your life in your vlog channel okay and the cardio pattern it helps reduce the background noise which is probably you know we're gonna do a test run using this microphone outdoors and see how effective this uh, background uh, noise reduction um is okay i have my table you know filling up with gadgets here so usually for safety i would uh, i would not record audio directly on my camera uh i always carry with me either this zoom uh f1 or this uh zoom h6 okay this zoom h6 has a uh, four input this is what i use for my uh, corporate video products why i do that why i use this is this has a uh, phantom power built in so i'm just gonna plug a phantom powered microphone and then i'm gonna uh you know be able to listen and sync it uh with my uh, audio okay let's try this and plug this now and see the difference uh of this microphone the 60 dollar microphone and this $200 microphone. Okay, I'm gonna plug this first. 
Okay, now that I have the newer NW700 plugged to my Zoom H6, as I've shown you a few seconds ago, you're actually listening to the quality of the sound of this uh, condenser microphone. So I'm standing roughly, you know, six, half, half of, half of foot away from the microphone and this is you know how it picks up the sound i would still probably do some bit of editing depending on how this ends up and how this sounds like when i'm on a post-production stage now let's try the marshall mxl condenser microphone this is the mxl 960 if you're still able to find this on the market you know if you have that extra buck I would suggest you go for this. As I've mentioned, I bought this kit just for this, you know, this arm, because I'm having trouble, you know, moving around. This is, this thing is heavy. Okay, let's swap the microphone and see how it sounds like. Okay, now I have the Marshall MXL 960 set up on this um, um, scissor arm. So right now you're listening to the sound of this microphone again i'm roughly half a foot away from uh, the condenser microphone and we're going to compare how it sounds like and see you know which one is you know worth your money and um it's up to you to decide you know i'm just uh like you know because i love tech i love gears it's part of my work and you know i hope with with all the stuff that we're showing you, you know, it, at least it gives you an idea in you know, which direction to take. Uh, would you go for the $60 newer NW700 or would you go for the something like this Marshall MXL on 960 uh, condenser microphone? I'm gonna talk closer to the this condenser microphone and see if it makes a difference because a while ago I, I wanted to compare it because uh, for this MXL 960 uh, condenser microphone I would usually you know be a bit far you know not not more than half a feet uh, yes yeah let's see and and see how this uh, sounds like so the newer NW700 still sounds a bit better but you, you need to be you know closer to the microphone when when you talk and it would still give you that pretty decent um, volume and pretty decent uh, quality of audio again comparing to the onboard audio of your microphone so there after listening to the sound recording of both microphones I think you have an idea which microphone is better this comes you know there's always a catch when you buy cheaper uh, gadgets and you know if, if that sound of the newer this one the newer NW700 is really light it's like I'm holding a flashlight if if that's okay it, uh, depending on what you're doing right now and where you are right now in terms of your budget and your resources definitely it's it's an improvement compared to just your uh, onboard audio from your camera this is still still you know this is this still sounds better but obviously the this Marshall MXL 960 is way better you know this the the sharpness and the depth and the volume of sound that it captures so you know because since this is a video that covers this and this uh for me you know i would still stick to using this and i don't know i would probably give this away as a gift or you know to my cousins to my friends who is starting uh, vlogging right now so is this worth the price for you $60 versus $200 you get to decide for yourself uh, usually when people ask me I would tell them you know spend a few more uh, time saving up a few more bucks since $60 and $200 you know it's, it's roughly a hundred I mean it's hundred forty dollars difference but you would see the difference in the quality of the audio so my suggestion is to save up some more and buy I mean it's not really expensive compared to uh, the other really high-end condenser microphones which can be as pricey as 600 bucks to a thousand dollars or more so yeah i hope this short video has given you uh, enough insight on what you're gonna buy and what you're gonna do uh, you know as part of what we're doing in in this channel is to really help you uh come up with these small decisions here and there and 
just you know to be in that position where you experience that freedom to create your own content and see the results from your hard work and just remember these gears are you know it's just secondary to uh, what you really need to do right now you know when, when, when you're really serious about moving forward with your video uh, video content creation uh, journey as a freelancer or as a small business owner so check out the links below this video if you're interested in purchasing any of this stuff and if you want to check out my own setup i have a few videos in a playlist that you would see at the end of this video and thank you for watching i hope you would subscribe so you will not miss out on future videos like this we release weekly videos that features tutorials tips lessons and strategies on how you can grow your business with videos so thank you guys and now it's your turn to build